Hey team, welcome back to another small business tutorial. And if you're new here, then my name's Stuart. Thanks for popping along. Now today, I've put together another beginner's tutorial to go with our HubSpot series. This video is all about showing you how to create a free landing page with HubSpot's free CRM. Now, with HubSpot, you can create up to 20 responsive landing pages for free with HubSpot's easy to use drag and drop editor. This is an ideal landing page builder for complete beginners. Okay guys, now just quickly, before we get stuck right in, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to grow your small business online. And with that happy note, let's go ahead and dive into HubSpot's dashboard. Okay, so here we are on HubSpot's dashboard. Now, if you're completely new to HubSpot and it's your first time navigating throughout HubSpot, then I recommend watching this tutorial we put together not too long ago that covers a basic overview of how to get started with HubSpot, with HubSpot's free CRM. And that covers some of the important elements and features within HubSpot's free CRM. And also, if you're ready to get started with HubSpot, then we have a link in our description that will take you to HubSpot. This is an affiliate link, which means if you click on that link and you decide to upgrade in the future to a paid plan, then we will receive a commission. And that just helps us continue to provide educational content on this channel. So thank you in advance. So with that covered, let's get on with building a free landing page with HubSpot's CRM. All right, so first off, what we need to do is navigate up to marketing and then navigate down to landing pages. And like I mentioned, at the beginning of this tutorial, we can build up to 20 landing pages for free. So let's go ahead and navigate over here and click get started. Okay, now just quickly, let's explain briefly what a landing page is if you're not too familiar with what a landing page actually is. Well, a landing page is a way to essentially capture information from your customers and prospects. So what you're doing is sending a landing page to a potential prospect, a client, and what they're doing is filling out their information and all that information that they submit on your landing page will then end up on your CRM. In our case, into our HubSpot CRM. So the great thing about this is we can send a form to a potential prospect or a client. They can fill out the information and that's gonna go directly into our CRM and they're gonna become a contact. And then we can start engaging with this new contact through our HubSpot CRM. Now you can also offer something in return for that person's email and contact information. For example, in return for a visitor's email address and contact information, you could provide a downloadable ebook. And there are many examples like this online. So having a high converting responsive landing page is extremely important for your business to build up your email list, to build up your contacts. So for the purpose of this beginner's tutorial, what we're going to do is navigate through all these different templates that we can choose from. So we're not going to go ahead and actually create one from scratch. We're just going to build from a template. And when you get more familiar with the drag and drop editor within HubSpot CRM, then you can go ahead and build a landing page from scratch. So we're going to navigate through these and then come down and select this basic landing page template. Now you can go ahead and preview the template if you want before you decide to start editing it. But for us, we're just gonna go ahead and start customizing this landing page. Here you wanna go ahead and name your page for your own reference. So we're gonna come up here and name our page, newsletter one. Then once you've named your page, come down and click create page. And this is where we can start customizing our landing page template with HubSpot's drag and drop editor. So what we're gonna do is cover the elements on the left hand side and then up above. So on the left hand side, we have everything to do with actually editing and customizing our landing page. So we have modules down here, which we're gonna cover shortly. Then we have contents. So this is the contents within our landing page. Then we have the overall design and feel of our landing page. Up here we can see a preview of our landing page in desktop and mobile. Then up here we have the content itself. We have settings for our landing page. Then optimization, so landing page optimization, SEO, search engine optimization, and then schedule. So we're gonna cover everything before we go ahead and actually publish our first HubSpot landing page. So firstly, if we come down here and click on add, 
These are what we call modules, and these are the common modules that we can use to customize our landing page. If you want to find more modules so that you can further customize your landing page, you can do so here. However, to access custom modules, you do need to upgrade to a paid plan. So as you can see over here on our landing page, we have what we call modules. Now these modules you can simply drag and drop and customize the way that you want. So this is our landing page. This is what we call the section, the background. Down here we have modules. Now if you want to edit each of these modules, what you can do here is go ahead and actually drag each of these modules. So remember this is a drag and drop editor. So for example, if I want this image here, that doesn't look very nice, but I can simply drag and drop that module. Now, if I want to go back, all I need to do is click this undo changes button, and that's going to go back to normal. So if you make some kind of stuff up, you can simply undo. Now, if we navigate on this module here, so this is an image module, we can come up here and we can edit the module. You'll notice the formatting options on the left hand side. So we can come down here and we can replace the image if we like. We can come down here and change the alt text. This is for SEO, we're not going to dive too much into that, but I suggest you name your image. Then down here we have other formatting options that you can play around with. Under link you can add a link for the photo, so for example if a visitor clicks on this photo, that's going to take them to another website or the destination of that link. Then you can come down here and click save changes if you like. We also have styles under each module, so we have visibility. We can come down and show or hide, so I suggest keeping that on show. Then we have alignment and spacing. Again, this is just the overall alignment of the image. Again, you can play around with the padding and the margins. Again, I'm going to leave that as it is. Then we have background. Now, the background color is white. We can change that if we like. For example, if we click here, we can choose a simple color or advanced. So if I went for red, that's going to change the background to red, but we're going to go back to white, I'm happy with that. Then we have border down here. Now we can select if we want a border or not, and we can change the thickness and the corner radius. Again, I'm gonna leave that as it is, and then come down here to reset all your styles. And again, we have apply changes if you want to solidify those changes. Then if we navigate back to the top, again, we have options or styles for each of these modules. If I come over to this text module here, I can come over here and actually click edit module and again I'm going to have some editing options here so edit an expanded view and I can change and edit this text the way that I like with the formatting options above and it's very straightforward so we're not going to dive into too much of this but you have the options to format the text the way that you like now I'm happy with that for now we also have styles for this text module down here again we have visibility and then we have alignment and spacings but I'm going to leave that as it is then down here we have no form selected. So this is a input module and what we can do here is click edit module and then navigate across to options and name your form. And I'm happy with that, join us today. As you can see that's input the text down here. Then we have the form itself. Now as you can see we want to select a form. For us we want to create a new form. Here you have the option to name your form but we're just gonna go ahead and click create. And as you can see, we've gone ahead and created our first form for our landing page. Now, what you can actually do is use this form for landing pages in the future if you decide to build more landing pages. Now, what we want to do is actually customize this form. So as you can see, we've got one input field here, which is the email. So what we can do is navigate down here to email and below that we've got choose a property. So if we select choose a property, you can see we have multiple options to create additional fields. Now these are all based on your contact. So whatever form field you decide to select, that information that you're capturing from your visitor is going to integrate straight into your HubSpot CRM. So I'm going to navigate through this one and all I want is a name. So I'm going to go name and first name. So I'm happy with that. This is a very basic form, email and first name. So you get the idea of how that works. You can come down here and you can add another form field if you like, but we're going to leave that as a simple form. Then we also have the options to edit each of these form fields. Then down here we have button text. We've got GDPR options if you like, and then capture. So this is your spam prevention. You can turn that on again if you like. I would turn that off for now unless you notice that you are getting spam. 
then you can always return to this form and turn spam prevention on. Then down here we have thank you, so thank you settings will apply to this page only. What will a visitor see after submitting your form? You can redirect to another page if you like or display an inline thank you message. We're going to keep it simple and display an inline thank you message which we can come down here and edit if we like. We have formatting options above. So basically when someone submits this form and clicks submit they are going to receive this message here. Thanks for submitting the form. However, I can redirect them to a thank you page if I like or redirect them to my website or anywhere I like. I'm happy with that so I'm going to come down and under form options always create new contact for email address. So I'm going to turn that one on. Send form notifications to specified email addresses instead of form defaults and I'm going to leave that blank for now and then we have a send a follow up email which you can go ahead and create if you like but I'm going to leave that as it is because this is just a beginner's tutorial. Then what we're going to do is come down and click apply changes. So as you can see we have an image module here, so image module, then we also have a form module down here which is form module and then sign up for our newsletter. This is a rich text module. So it's very easy to customize, you can drag and drop any of these modules and customize them the way that you want by clicking on edit module. You can also style the module or you can duplicate your module and then delete the module if you like. Now we have other modules down here that you can play around with if you like. You've got a button that can send people to a particular web page or direct them somewhere else. We have a divider, we've got a follow me. So if we navigate down here we also have this follow me section here. And again what you want to do is customize this and add your social links. So it's very straightforward, all you need to do is go ahead and edit this module and then add your social links to each of these icons, the ones that you use for your business. And down here on the footer you can see that this is a HubSpot branded footer which you cannot get rid of unless you decide to upgrade to a paid plan. But with a free plan you're going to have this branded footer down here. Fortunately it's not very obvious and it's relatively small and not in your face. So if we head back up to the top and navigate over to contents this is where we can see the overall contents of our landing page. So as you can see, we've got the image, rich text, form, and follow me. So we just covered that there. And again, you can edit these if you like. Then over on design, this is the overall design and feel of your landing page. So if we go ahead and click on typography, you notice the overall style, fonts, the colors of our landing page. So you can go ahead and edit that if you want. We have forms and buttons below. And then again down here is where you can customize the overall look and feel of your forms and buttons on your landing page. So I'm happy with all that for now. I'm gonna navigate back up to the top and over here we have preview. So if you're happy with your landing page, we are happy with our landing page. What we're gonna do is click mobile and that's gonna show your form on mobile device. Now if you don't like the look of that, you want to head back and start customizing your form until it looks responsive on mobile. But again, I'm happy with that. Then if we head over to desktop, this is our desktop version. Unfortunately, you can only edit your form on the desktop mode. Then if we head up here, we've got content selected. If we navigate over to settings, and here we have a few basic options for our settings. So for example, we've got our internal page name. So this is for your own reference. Down here, we've got the page title. This helps for SEO and this helps identify your page in search results like Google. Then down here we have page URL. Now as you can see this is a branded HubSpot domain name. This is because we're using the free plan so I'm happy with that. This is the URL that your visitors will see and you can come down here and copy this URL, this domain if you like and once you're published you can send this URL to individuals to sign up to your form. Then down here we have meta description, so just describe your page and this is going to help with SEO, search engine optimization. So I recommend filling this out and just describe what your page is all about. Then down here we have featured image. Again here you want to upload a featured image. This is good for when you copy this URL here and you send that to people on social media. They're going to get a snippet of your image and a description. So go ahead and turn that on and upload an image if you like. Then up above we have optimize and here what HubSpot's going to do is give you an overview of the SEO of your landing page, so your search engine optimization. How optimized is your landing page? Go through all of these and read through them. You can see that the title is optimized down here. We've got crawling and indexing. Yep, search engines can display the page in search results 
and then we've got others down here mobile responsiveness or friendliness yep that is green I'm happy with that and then you just want to come down here if you have issues for example we've got three issues here what you want to do is listen to this information read through it and then go back and edit your landing page now this is if you want to appear on search engines with a lot of landing pages you're generally going to share that link on your website you're going to share it through different channels social media or you're going to drive paid traffic to your landing page however if you do want to appear online then you want to make sure that your landing page is optimized for search engines then what we're going to do is navigate over to schedule and here we'll be given the options to publish our landing page now or publish later so I'm actually going to go ahead and publish our landing page now then what we want to do is navigate over to preview click on preview and again here is where we can preview our landing page before we go live so this is where we can preview on desktop we can preview on tablet and on mobile so I'm happy with the way that this looks I'm just going to quickly scroll through that that looks great I'm happy with that then just navigate over to back and before we publish you can see that something is wrong required page title is required so what we're going to do is navigate back to settings and then come back down to page title and we're going to quickly add our page title and there we have it that is our page title now if we navigate up to publish you can see that this button is now orange and we can now launch our landing page so I'm going to go ahead and click publish and if you're ready to go live and start capturing information from your visitors, come down and click publish now. And congratulations, just like that, your new landing page is now live and people can start submitting their information on your landing page. Woohoo! Down here we have some page metrics, so some basic information with how your page is performing. Then we can actually come up here and view our page. So I'm going to go ahead and view our page. And as you can see, our landing page is live. I like the look of that. It's easy to read. As you can see, we have HubSpot branding down here and up above. Now we can actually go ahead and remove that branding if we want to upgrade to a paid plan. But for now, for the purpose of this tutorial, we're just using the free plan. Now, if we fill out this information here and show you how this looks within our HubSpot CRM. And as you can see, I've entered in an email and a first name. So now what I'm going to do is click submit. And as you can see, after submitting this form, we have the success message. Thanks for submitting the form. Remember, you can edit this the way that you like, or you can redirect this page to another website. So what we're going to do now is head back to our HubSpot dashboard. And now to locate that new submission, what we're going to do is navigate up to contacts and then come down and click contacts. And as you can see, under contacts, we have our new form submission, our new contact, Sammy, and the email address here. Now we can also add other form fields if we liked that form and capture more information but we just wanted to capture the email and the first name and just like that guys as you can see it's very straightforward to create a landing page launch it and start capturing information from your visitors i hope that was straightforward and easy to understand and there we have it guys that is it for this landing page tutorial with hubspot as you can see it's a very straightforward process to build and launch your landing page for free online now if you have any questions about this tutorial make sure to pop them down below and with that said thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end if you got value make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already and that way i'll see you in the next video take care guys